Praise 102.5. It's your brother Ed Long checking in from Lit Nights with Ed. Monday through Friday, 11 o'clock p.m. to 1 o'clock a.m. You already know it's a lituation all week long. And I'm so excited right now to be on camera live with my brother from another mother representing the east side of the ATL. Steve is a high school checking in, fellow alum, yes, 1K sir. Few. What's up, bro? I don't know nothing about that Stevenson. Man. man, they don't know, man. <laughs> Listen, Jaguars in here, Sonic Sounds, you yes, feel what sir. I'm saying? Listen, we're both A-Town representatives, and literally we are sweating right now. It's a zoo outside. We closed this thing out with Zoo Atlanta. Man, what's the inspiration behind that record? That's one of my favorite. Man, just be, me being from Atlanta and just me going crazy, I just kind of got tired of saying turned up and piped uh, up. So I'm like, nah, it's a zoo. You know what I'm saying? We going all the way. You know I love without it. Without the cages. Man, listen, clicked up with my folk off Calendar. You feel what I'm saying? No cap. Hey, we right here at Lakewood Amphitheater, Solaris Lakewood Amphitheater. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> listen, right off University. Now, look, you're like three projects in. Now, I remember when you first came with the church going wild, all this stuff, shooting your own videos, et cetera. And anytime I do an interview, I'm always trying to teach because there's somebody that's watching you. I know that you're not where you uh, totally desire to be yet, but you're much further than a lot of people have even uh, been able to reach. You feel what I'm saying? And so what are some processes? What are some steps? What are some faith things? Uh, what are some actual uh, applicable things that you would tell somebody who's watching right now as you went from just being an unsigned independent artist to now being on Reach Records running with the 116 click? Man, really just consistency, man, and just really keeping my faith in God and trusting God and not man. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people be trusting man with a lot of things, like, you know what I'm saying, putting their life in their hands. You feel me? Like, can you change my life? Can you do this for me? Can you do that? But it's like, nah, like, no man is perfect. Like, no man going, you know what I'm saying, do really do anything for you like God can. You feel what I'm saying? So it's really? like, once I finally, you know what I'm saying, got in the rhythm of trusting God all the way and not, like, just use him as a cliche, like, that's when all the blessings start coming in and start rolling in because at the same time, like when you get out and bless, you got to be humble. Like you got to keep a, you got to keep a, a humble mindset and not so you just got to be solid, man. You can't right. just change up and switch up. You feel what I'm wow. So one, you said being consistent, staying humble, staying focused. What is your work regimen? When we talk about consistency, because somebody can really have a bad consistent habit. And then if you said be consistent, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What is your uh, day to day grind look like? Man, I'm literally like I'm I'm working every day, not just in the studio, but just like just watching like different interviews, watching different documentaries, just trying to better myself as a man and as a person. You feel what I'm saying? And getting in the word way more. Like I used to not be in the word like at all like that. Like not not too heavy. You gotcha. feel what I'm saying? But now I'm learning how to relate the word to my life and what's mm -hmm. going on right now. You feel me? So I really getting better and really getting more mature and, and really growing in my artistry. You feel what I'm saying? And really just surrounding my people. I mean, surrounding myself with people, you know what I'm saying, with a solid mindset. I love you it. Know and since you talked about people, um, you know, you got the 1K FAMO, et cetera. 1K FAMO, man. Y'all know what's going on, man. Listen, I guess I'm 1K Ed now. You feel what I'm no saying? No cap, no cap. 1K longest. <laughs> 1K <laughs> to long. To beyond. You feel what I'm saying? Listen, hey, man. Um, when, we, when, when you were sitting there talking about growing, all those different things, uh, I've been able to watch that. Literally, as I'm listening to your music, you're talking about different things. You know how sometimes the artists may come and may be talking about their aspirations. Then once they've reached a certain point, now they can go to the jewelry store. They can go to the Gucci store. They can go and do these things. And what they're talking about changes. And so with you, I'm hearing a shift in certain things. Do you feel like it's a responsibility to relay what you're learning to your listeners through your music? So, no, for sure. It's because, like... Just like my, my, my last project, What's Understood, it's like, I, I talked about that a lot. In my new project, I talk about that a lot, too. But, you know, just because under, What's Understood ain't got to be explained. Like, you know, everybody ain't got common sense. You feel what I'm wow. saying? Common sense ain't common. So you got to you gotta let people know. Like, because some people don't know. Like me, I was one of them. Like, I just yeah. literally didn't know. I was ignorant to the fact of just being successful. I, I had a whole different mindset of success. You feel wow. what I'm saying? So when I had to really grow and mature my mind and really realize what I was doing, like, that's when I really stepped in it. And then, like, uh, of of course I'm uh, of course I'm gonna preach Jesus. Of course I'm gonna like put put the gospel in my music. But also I'm not afraid to meet people where they at. You feel right. what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people are scared to meet people where they at, and they want they want people to adapt to their ways. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm really just creating like a new wave, like uh, uh, sure. and, and I'm taking myself responsible for the new wave. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm just I'm frontline. I'm we're not going to take it. <laughs> like I'm I'm in there. Like I'm. Uh -huh. you know what I'm saying. So it's like. If I believe in it, which I do, I'm going to fight for it 110%. Wow. Sure. You know, I always celebrate you because, um, and I've told this story before. Um, I remember when you called me and you and, you know, Jasmine, who's mm -hmm. an awesome woman who's now 
Your wife. My wife. Yes, Last sir. year yes, you sir. did something big on the stage. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pulled the proposal and all that, man. The ring looks good on your finger. Man, appreciate and it. Appreciate I, I remember a few years ago you called me and it was like, bro, you know, um, I got Shawty pregnant. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. At the crib. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm doing the gospel thing. I'm doing the faith based mm-hmm. thing. Uh, I don't want to seem hypocritical. Yeah. I don't want to lose my audience. Yeah. I remember just telling you, bro, just be consistent mm-hmm. and, you know, everything will work out. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. So how was now that you got the married life? And w- w- talk about that for a second. It just feel good, man. It, it feel complete, if anything. You feel what I'm saying? I, one thing I would say, I want to take nothing back. Like, I wouldn't change nothing I did in the past. Like, wow. I feel like I, I every every lesson turned into a blessing. You feel what I'm for saying? For sure. No so, doubt. I mean... Yeah, I want I want to take nothing back, man. But now it's just like feels so complete, man. It's like at first we're staying at our parents' house. Like now we got a nice and own spot. Oh, stuff. y'all coming up? You know what I'm so Come on, like, Jeffersons. It, it's night, man. <laughs> it, it's, just, it, it's it's a blessing, man. I can't take for granted. For, I can't I can't take credit for none of it because it's all God. You feel what I'm saying? So Love it. if I just keep walking in, that's another thing. Like I don't really be making plans or agendas for my life, bro. I just let mm. God do His thing, bro. Like, He's showing out for sure. Last thing before we wrap. October 31st, something big is happening. Let the people know, sir. Man, what's understood, man? Woo 2, what's understood too? October 31st. Already. Biggest project of the year, period. I ain't going back and forth. Let's get it. You already know what it is, man. Listen, it's Praise 102.5. Your brother Ed Long, Lit Nights with Ed and Bree. 1K coming through. Appreciate you, sir. Love you, man. Hey, as always, don't stop. Keep going. Cheer.